LinkedIn search functionality is incredibly powerful, but there's a few features that it lacks. And for that, you sometimes wanna be able to pull that data out of LinkedIn and organize it in your own platforms and things like spreadsheets and CRMs and things like that. So today I'm gonna to share how you can do that. All right, let's jump straight into it. So how to scrape data out of your LinkedIn, data around companies, searches, people, um, basically list of people, prospects and companies. So the first question you might be asking, well, if you found this video, you probably know why you wanna do it. But for those of you who are curious why you'd wanna pull that data out of LinkedIn, the simple answer is, is it's easier to organize, especially if you're using a spreadsheet. On LinkedIn, it tends to order the lists of prospects or the list of companies in a way that it feels is most relevant according to your search, but you may want to filter and organize based on you know, things like company size or um, titles or um, location. And being able to export that data and organize it and use things like spreadsheets, which are incredibly powerful, provides that option. Um, it also provides a way that you can even track information. So if you were to want to connect and reach out to people, you can put that into a system that allows you to track and manage that as well, which LinkedIn doesn't natively provide a lot of support around. So there's a few different ways you can do it, especially if you're using automation platforms, you can link up to LinkedIn and, and export and import data and stuff like that. But for this video, I just want to show you how to simply export the data into a spreadsheet in the simplest way that I know how. So um, the simplest way I know how is with a little application called Phantom Buster. Uh, dot com. So you can sign up for free and you need to install a Chrome extension. So it'll ask you to set up the Chrome extension once you're set up a free account. Let's quickly do that, see what's involved. And once it signs in, once it links up, yep, we've done that. We'll talk about how you can actually, we'll go through an example of how you can actually do that. So you can, we'll do it for a free search, but Phantom Buster is, it's fairly um, intuitive. The setup wizards are pretty good. And there's a number of different types of um, ways you can scrape that data depending on how you've actually built your list. If it's a list of people, if it's a list of companies, um, it will depend on the type of uh, phantom that you're gonna use. For this example, we'll just use, use LinkedIn's free search capability. So let's build a really quick example. I don't know, ice cream, <laughs> thinking about ice cream. People. ice cream, all filters. Let's look at people with ice cream somewhere in their profile um, in Australia. And we're looking at second and third degree connections. So there's 6,000 results. Um, let's just minimize that. So what you're gonna wanna do is if you wanna actually extract the whole list, you're gonna to need to get the list to less than two and a half thousand, actually less than a thousand using your free search. On Sales Navigator, it can be two and a half thousand, but after that, you, you don't get access to the results. So you need to split lists up into smaller amounts so that you can find everyone and run multiple lists. So this is a thousand three hundred. Let's make it a bit smaller again and um, say um, Queensland. There we go, 220 results. Now. On your free search on LinkedIn, you can't actually save your list, but if you copy the URL, it'll have all the information around that search, Is and this is most likely what we're going to be using when we try and extract that data using Phantom Buster. So I believe I've set up Phantom Buster now. If I refresh that, hopefully that gets rid of that there. I'm just on the free account. And so let's go solutions, LinkedIn, LinkedIn search export. It's the first one, clearly the most used one. Use this phantom, connect to LinkedIn. So if you're logged in on the brow this browser, you can simply just go click connect to LinkedIn and it um, uses a LinkedIn session cookie to actually connect to your account. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. Save um, your search, there you go. So it says you can give it in the form of the URL of the single search. So that's why we saved that search and we paste that in here. It's a search on people and we're only looking for second and third degree. And then number of columns, we don't need to change much there. Save, and now there is a limit to how much you can automate. Maximum number of search or 1000 results. So that's why we built the list to be under a thousand, two and a half thousand of the sales navigator. I do know what I'm talking about. The number may be increased depending on how warmed up your account is. Da, 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 da. Number of results to scrape per session. Let's just do 200. Number of results to scrape per launch. Number of spreadsheet rows to process per launch. Well, let's just do 
number of spreadsheet rows to launch, uh, launch thousand. Let's just keep it simple for this example. Hundred, hundred. Advanced settings. Name your file. Um, test example. Fields to keep. Oh, we won't worry about that. Launch manually. Notifications. Now we don't need that. Um, and so you can set it up to launch automatically. Launch and then you just gotta wait for it to actually run its, do its thing on LinkedIn. So there you can see that it's successfully authenticated and found the 100 profiles. And now you can download the results. I'm pretty sure it'll download as a CSV file, yeah. So most of you will probably have Excel. We just use Google Sheets. So I'll open that up in Google Sheets. And there you go. <clears throat> Extracted all the data and it's given you like, you can then filter on all the different columns so you can organize the data in a way that's useful to you. So location, we won't go into too much detail of how you want to organize it, that's really up to you. But I know a lot of people really want to know how to extract that data out of LinkedIn. So hopefully this is helpful. Um, if you have a different type of search, you've got a sales navigator search, just go to Phantom Buster and find the one that's relevant to the type of search you're running and run through their wizard, it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty effective and you can get started for free. It's pretty cool. So that's it. So if you've ever wondered how to extract data out of LinkedIn, yeah, there's no native way to do it. LinkedIn doesn't really want you to take that data away. So the Phantom Buster is a great free way that you can start doing that. Um, so I hope this video has been useful if that's something that you've been looking to do for a while now. If you have any questions, put in the comments below. As always, Brian Castle here from b2bleads.com. Have a great day. Cheers.